we, we often say that there's two um, different cultures in Canada, the French and the English. There's two solitudes, I, and I argue profusely that there are three solitudes. There is the French, the English, and, and the Aboriginal. And the Arenda is a novel that takes place in the mid-1600s. It takes place, it's the first contact in Canada between Europe and, and, and the Aboriginal people. Um, it's, it's about a Jesuit named Christophe from France who has come over to passionately be a soldier of Christ and to bring Christianity to the, to the sauvage, to the, to the heathens of, of this new world. And he is thrown into this very tumultuous time because his people have entered into this very tumultuous time, the French and the English, into, uh, into Canada, into North America, to fight it out, to battle it out. Um, and Christ, uh, Christophe unwittingly becomes the spearhead of, 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 uh, of an invasion of sorts. The Arenda is an Iroquois word, and it, and it means the soul or the life force. And, and, and Christophe, very early in the novel, he's writing his diaries to send back to his, his superior in France, and he's trying to explain uh, what this, this, this other character, Bird, has told him, is that the Arenda is, is the life force. It's a soul in you. It's, it's, it's what keeps your heart beating. It's who you are. And, and Christophe is like, oh, yeah, well, we have souls as well. And he goes, and, and, and Bird needs to explain to Christophe, no, the Arenda is, is not just humans have an Arenda, and, and animals have one. That deer that, that we ate last night had an Arenda, and it gave me its Arenda in order that I could live. That lake that we look at, the Georgian Bay, or they called it the, the, the Sweetwater Sea, it has its own Arenda. Uh, this tree has an Arenda. The stones, the stone fireplace has an Arenda. Everything has its own life force, its own its own spirit. And Christoph can't wrap his head around this because in Christianity, only humans have, are big enough to have, have soul, to have, to have a, that life force. And, and so this, this is where the novel comes from, is, is this idea of, of, of very differing views of the world. In, 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 a, in a fighting each other, but literally physically, it's, it's when these two, very different forces collide. You know, people often say in Canada our, ca our history is boring, and I'm shocked when people say that. Uh, it, my whole job as a writer is to show that no, it's not. This is our, our history is alive. Uh, our our past and our future are present. We cannot forget what has happened. We're not going to know where we're going unless we see where we're at right now. And. Uh, so this is a, a, a real clash of cultures, but it's also a story of family. It's a story of love. It's a story of, 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 of betrayal. Um, it's a story of, watch, uh, of the rise and fall of a people over the course of about 15 years, uh, the Huron people, the Wendat people.